Bridget, what about you? I know we've talked a little bit about this uh, accountability quite a bit, but I, I know it's a, a real buzz for you to deliver on what you say you will do. It is a real buzzword for me. Um, that word means a lot for me. And I have made people, um, I've also, on the flip side of that, had my circle of friends and my family show up accountable to me as well. Nice. Because what I found myself doing is, um, like Chris said, just having migraines behind, you know, what I said I would do for people and what I said I would do this. And, and people were just letting me down all over the place. Um, and so it's a, it's a two way street for me. Um, and I'm not going to do it unless I know it's, it's giving back. And I don't know how everybody feels about that, but that's just how my life has been. And so with the girls, I don't expect them to give me, empower me and give me that knowledge and, and give me whatever I'm pouring into them. I do expect respect and i do expect you to to come if you say you're going to be there we're going to meet up let's do that if you say you're going to do this about your life if you're going to bring up your grades i'm going to hold you accountable i want you to hold me accountable as well so it goes two ways for me um as far as just me being accountable like you said it is a big buzzword for me because i'm in service and i can't just not show up and at work i can't just not show up if if there's a test because i know some students need to be read too i can't just say oh well i don't feel like going today so i guess i'm just gonna stay home somebody else have to do it get somebody else to do it i'm not gonna do that i i'm and i haven't been put in a position thank god in the last maybe 10 years that i could do that and so i guess god was prepping me for service even in before then he was prepping me for service so um, I have to be accountable. That's almost my middle name. And so people know if I say I'm going to do, if I say I'm going to do it, and if I put it, even if I don't put it on paper, I'm, I'm going to show up and I'm going to show up as, as my best self. And it, that can only happen when I got to truly know myself though, and my cans and can'ts and my do's and don'ts and my wills and won'ts. <laughs> it only happened when I got to learn those. And then I could to, could honestly and transparently say, okay, this is what I'm going to do. And you can hold me accountable for that. Absolutely. Sean, what about you? C accountability. What, what are your thoughts and what's been your experience with that? Let me go and get a piece of this one. Cause I, I, I like this. I like this question. So I'm, I'm a big proponent of your why being so intrinsic that the people around you, unless they're really close, really, really tight inner circle, they can't understand it. When I sit and talk about my why and what changes I'm going through and what I'm doing in the spiritual space, mental space, physical space, nutrition space, everything is quizzical. And I had to grow past the, the point where I felt that I needed to explain it to everyone because I had to realize that it's too deep. It's too deep and it's just for me. It's just for me. So um, everyone's why should be that deep. Or hey, I it, it, I don't have to explain it to you. If you get on the on the journey, you'll understand in due time. But I, I can't tell you where it is because my why is 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 to stand that because that's a lot of self talk back and forth. That in the deep nights at three o'clock in the morning, no one's there with you. Okay, so. Um, that why is, is is that deep when we're talking accountability i'm going to say that there is no hybrid there is no external accountability there is only one accountability and that's internal accountability okay that person that did not show up for bridget did not show up because of bridget's accountability is because at first they were not accountable to themselves they didn't stay true to the commitment that they made bridget they failed themselves first Bridget was just secondary or tertiary down, down the road. So your accountability starts with you. You're the one having that inner dialogue every day, every night, because you're the only one that can feel that and see that and direct your own path. So your accountability is, is within, I am going to get up and go to the gym, Chris, because this is what Chris does. Not because the, the trainer at the gym is looking for me and I need to make sure that he sees me here at 505 because, you know, he's my accountability partner. No, you got yourself there because you're accountable to yourself and your goal because you know your why. When, when I go to work every day doing things that, that I'm just learning, just like you, Chris, hey, you know, I'm working in oral, in oral health right now. 
I'm not a dentist, but I tell you what, I am engaged and I'm involved because being true to myself is the utmost goal. And when you're accountable to yourself, then people around you are only witnessing the accountability that you have for yourself when you're accountable to them. Remember that the people around us are just mirrors of ourselves around us that we're looking at are just parts of ourselves that, that are reflecting outwardly. So when you're accountable to yourself, only then can you be accountable to other people because you're only seeing how well you're accountable to yourself when you're accountable to, to the other person. So if you made it to the gym on time, if you made it to work on time, if you participated in a gala or whatever the event is, it's because you had the accountability to yourself first and then it showed up by the way you uh, made it to um, the things that you set forward in your life.